The Ukrainian army has recently received a deeply modernized T-64 BVK command MBT. Analysts say that its tactical performance is superior to the T-72B3M, even higher than the Russian T-90K. According to the announcement, the deeply modernized command tank T-64BVK was upgraded at the Khalif Armor Plant, a leading Ukrainian manufacturer in the field of production of armor combat vehicles. Khalif Armor Plant Director Herman Smetanin said the upgrade is necessary not only to significantly improve the existing technical characteristics, but also to create all the appropriate conditions for effective control over a unit. The T-64BVK has received a thermal emitter, a satellite navigation system, and new optics for the commander, providing a detection range of 2,000 meters. The Vigor has also received a new radio system, intercom, and driver's rear-view camera under the upgrade. The commander's cupola is fitted with a protected mount for an NSV 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Additional improvements include a new fuel filter, enhanced protection for the fuel tanks, and composite rubber metal screens added to the size of the tank. The modernization of the tank is extremely important as it is necessary not only to significantly improve its current specifications, but also to create all the necessary conditions for effective management of a unit in all weather conditions and at any time of the day. At present, the T-64 is in use in very few nations or regions, but is currently undergoing significant factory overhauls and modernization in Ukraine. The newest, the T-64BM Bullet, has increased in weight to 45 tons and is seeing active service in the field. The T-64 is a Soviet second-generation main battle tank introduced in the early 1960s. It was a more advanced counterpart to the T-62. The T-64 served in the tank divisions while the T-62 supported infantry in motorized driver divisions. It introduced a number of advanced features, including composite armor, a compact engine and transmission, and a smooth-bore 125mm gun, equipped with an autoloader to allow the crew to be reduced to three, so the tank could be smaller and lighter. In spite of being armed and armored like a heavy tank, the T-64 weighed only 38 tons. These features made the T-64 expensive to build, significantly more than previous generation of Soviet tanks. This was especially true of the power pack, which was time-consuming to build and cost twice as much as more conventional designs. 